everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel thank you very much for your love and support as always i remain loyal so there's a first day are coming across this channel for the first time this is agatha progress channel and i come across your way every blessed day in this channel as you can see we bring the latest i will bring the happening all over the globe and in this channel also we react to all videos yes all videos and i do hope you join the family right now this video you are about to watch i don't know what you felt about this video but i hope you do pick some sense from this video all right let's dive into the news in details show me a great man and i will tell you a man that know the history the inner out of nigeria that's the person of mazina de Kalu. in fact hey he has blowed it real hot again this time around and this time there is no going back i have a wonderful video here that i want each and every one of us to watch together it's a very interesting one indeed i love one thing about mazinadi kanu he keep record real record real deep record he can tell you the history of how it all started the beginning and the end of some issues in fact it's a very interesting one that is when you know a great leader. All right, I want us to watch this video together. And before we watch it together, if you know you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and join the family so that when I drop a new video, you will be the first to come here and we watch together. Hello, everyone. That's such idiocy Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Only in Nigeria. Thank when you I very say it, he is a, he is a, he is a, he is a, he is insightful tweet. He is inciting violence. And you are the ones committing violence. Fulan, you are the ones that kill 91 houses of people in the state. You got me massaging them. Oh, we are houses of people. They are killing them. All videos. Yes, all videos, and I do hope you join the family. It, right now, this it, video it, it you are about to watch. I don't know what you felt about this. Now, video, let me tell you, you do pick some that sense. All the people that I mentioned, they all right, were being that killed. The, the killings took place in Goro, Kimpi, Gaya, Dimi, Zitu, Rafingora, Igwenge villages, and in all Danko Wasagu local material of Kibi State. Are you following me? Now, the question that Twitter, I'm sure you people are listening to me this evening. The question you need to ask, Lai Muhammad, is this. Who kills those people in Kebi State? What is their identity? Because any time anything happens in the East, it's ESN, ESN, IPOB, ESN. You even find the Yoruba newspapers. I click up on your core. Without any investigation, they will say it's IPOB, ESN, IPOB, ESN. I want to ask Yoruba media, Yoruba journalists. You evil people, have you ever wondered or asked yourselves the people behind the slaughter of the innocent in Kebi State? Why couldn't you say it's me, The way you quickly say it's, it's, it's IPOB, it's ESN. It is that hatred. It is in your bone marrow, you cannot get rid of it. I am not talking about the freedom fighters we have in Yoruba land. I am talking about their journalists. Journalism from Yoruba land is pure venom designed to paralyze your thinking faculties and to render you useless. By the time they are done with you, Fulani will just walk you over. I want to ask Yoruba newspapers, how come you are saying it is bandits that kill people in Kebi State? You are asked anything that happens in the East is ESN, ESN, IPOB. Why? Do you see why I hate Nigeria? Do you see why I agitate for Biafra? Because you hate me for no reason, for speaking the truth. That is the only, do you hate me for no reason? Then why should I not seek a country of my own? given the level of hatred you have towards us. Daily Trust newspaper will be somewhere in Kaduna. Something will happen maybe in Okigwe and he will write this IPOB ESN. He has never been to Okigwe before. I want the world to listen to what I'm saying. To understand the level of hatred directed towards Igbo Biafrans especially. To all Biafrans anyway, the other ones, they are treating them as if they are normal, but of course they are not. 
Fulani killed Hausa people. The same newspaper is writing Hausa Fulani. Hausa Fulani. I want to ask the whole world tonight who are the people responsible for the killing of 91 Hausa people in Kebi State? The answer is Fulani. And they know that they are terrified to write the truth. They are terrified to speak the truth. That is why I cannot be in the same country with you people. You people are evil. You are evil. You see evil and you support it. You keep your mouth shut. You want Tinubu to be president. And you are paying dearly for these mistakes you're making. As we proceed, I'm going to bring to the attention of the world the damage that Yoruba journalism has done to Yoruba people. I will prove it tonight. On this noble platform, what we preach is the truth. You may not like it. But if you go back and reflect upon everything that I say, you will come to the realization that it is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. You may not like the way I deliver it. I give you that. I'm not too. I'm not. Too, I'm not too bothered about it. But ask yourself this question: Is Nam the Kano speaking the truth? This evening, am I preaching the truth or not? Why is it any time something happens without proper investigation, it is IPOB or ESN? But only yesterday, all of you in the zoo called Nigeria, you reported the massacre that took place in Kebbi State. My simple question tonight is to Punch newspaper, to Nation newspaper, to Vanguard, all the rest of you that are basically trotting out the flooding narrative every blessed day. I want to ask a simple question. Who are the perpetrators of that heinous crime in Kebbi State? Once you answer it truthfully, you will now understand why I am pursuing a sovereign state of Biafra. Because all of you are hypocrites. I want also, I tweet, are you listening to me? Because they, they want to listen. Like Mohammed told them, go and listen to him. You hear he, he, his hate filled speech tonight and you ban him on Twitter as they bribed Facebook to try and suppress my page. And Twitter, you're listening. Uh, my happiness is that Twitter is owned by a white man. And white people are more objective when it comes to issues of this very nature. I don't want to go into the background of Makuzuka Baga. That will take care of itself in time to come. But I'm sure that the owner of Twitter is a white man. So he is bound to be objective, at least. I want to also let the whole world understand what is happening in the north, in full and a controlled northern part of Nigeria. The corner, I call them the Arewa, the Janjaweed frontier of the north. What is happening? Do you know that Islamic leaders who are Fulani people are abducting Hausa people who are Christians and forcibly converting them to Islam and forcibly marrying them off to whoever that wants to take a Hausa Christian bride? Are you aware of that? No, you're not aware of it. Because some of you erroneously think that in the north they are all Muslims. Is that what you're thinking? No, you're wrong. Islam is in the minority in the north. You'll be shocked to know this. Now, let me explain something to you. And I must thank Inter Society for bringing this to the attention of the world. Because they actually called for the prosecution of some Islamic leaders in Katsina State. The same state that they claim the dead Buhari, come, whoever is there, comes from. Answering Buhari. Of course, the late Buhari comes from, from Katsina. Do you know what they're doing in Katsina State? <laughs> Fulani <laughs> Caliphate uh, Islamic people there are kidnapping people, young women, most of them Hausa Christians, and forcibly converting them to Islam. It may sound far-fetched, but it is true. And I'm going to shock most of you this evening. There is a group in the north. They are called the Hausa Christian Foundation, H-A-C-F-O, HACFO for short, the Hausa Christian 
Foundation reported incidences of indiscriminate abduction of underage girls by Islamic leaders in Katsina State and forcing them to renounce their Christian faith to take up Islam. What they did to Leah Shoibu. To tell you that they are all in it together. This is what I want Yoruba media to understand. I know that some of them are Muslims. I understand that very well. But at least they are educated. They went to school. They are not quota products as you have in the North. Not at all. You have in the Janja with North, that is. Do you know what the group said? How are Christians? What they said. The Nigerian government must sanction the Katsina Islamic leaders for indiscriminate abduction and forceful conversion of scores of Hausa Christians, especially girls of underage, to Islam. This is according to a statement issued on the 15th of April 2021 by the Hausa Christians Foundation. According to the group, there has been indiscriminate abduction of hundreds of Hausa girls and their forcible conversion to Islam. They abducted Hausa Christian girls who are under the school age of 16, are also forced into early marriage, done outside the consent of their parents. This is happening in a place called Nigeria. These are the people that want to ban Twitter. These are the people that bought over Facebook. The same people that bought over Satlink in Israel because they were carrying our signal. These people. I'm asking all of you Nigerians, for goodness sake, when will you begin to reason and to learn? They claim, uh, are we not upholding the rule of law? So the rule of law in the North stipulates that you must abduct a little girl and forcibly convert her to Islam. This is happening. It is a report. Let me also ask those in Asorok, have you spoken to people of Katsina abducting little children uh, to, about the need to understand a particular language that you are about to speak to them? Have you done that? I want the world to understand how despicable, vile, and evil Nigeria is. That's what I'm trying to do. To let you understand what is happening in Nigeria as at this very present day. People must understand the game.